Hey everyone, Rudy here. Today, very simply, we are going to put this 2 terabyte hard drive in. Directly sealed, everything sealed. It's easy. Don't follow the busters. Follow this. It's easy, I promise. All six screws. Okay, that is a standoff one. That one stays. It's remarkably shorter. Etc. Etc. I didn't press the power button. I didn't start it. This is directly from the package. So There's our panel, there's our screw. I'm gonna put that up top here. Viola. We're gonna plug off, unplug the battery for good measure right here. So unplug this, this flap. A lot of people are bending this. You see like, you can definitely tell when somebody's like, already went through the whole process. Hard drive right over here. Just unscrew this. Save the screw. And just give it a little wiggles. All right. There's a factory unit. That'll hold like two games. So here we go. Here's our two terabyte. Separant. So you just need to peel this back a little bit and then insert the new two terabyte hard drive in this little slot. Same thing, it'll just click right in. So we're guiding in just like that. Click. Click, she's in. Shazam, it's in. Now we can take our screw. Give it a little quirk. Excellent. Plug our battery cable back in here. Just like that. All right, and we'll put the screws back in. Press down on all four sides here. We'll screw it back together.
we go. So it does not come with power. Phantom power from the factory, from the box. All right, so this is the official charger. This is the official dock, et cetera, et cetera. It's... We're just going to get this process going of updating the hard drive through the cloud. Okay, so you want to hit Y for advanced options. Very simply, so just hit Y. You'll go up and you'll see, you'll go and you'll see the ACES Cloud Recovery. You go and select that, it'll take you to this screen. You maneuver the cursor using the right joystick, or I think that you can use the left one. And then you just hover over this. Uh, the clicking doesn't work really well, so just use your finger. And then you can just accept and it'll run through the process of discovering your local Wi-Fi network. So you just kind of say, okay, see here. I'll just click accept and find the Wi-Fi area. You'll go through, you'll select your Wi-Fi and set in the password. So now the cloud recovery process will begin. And uh, we can set a timer. It won't be long before you'll start to see this circle pop up. Now this is where a lot of people have been having issues on launch day. Now I'm gonna say, if your percentage doesn't change after, oh, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes, then you probably have a problem. Now I initially wasn't able to get to this screen so what I did was when my BIOS first started, I just changed the date and the time to the current date. And then after that, I didn't have any problems. It took about an hour for that whole circle bar. And then this process started where it restarted and you'll, you'll see it exactly like this. Now, this is not the original hard drive. I did not do anything to the original hard drive. I took that out. I put the, the two terabyte in. You do not have to use that initial hard drive and go through this process. People have been saying that and blah, blah, blah. The server's just overloaded. Uh, that's my theory, uh, but I know 100% sure that you do not have to use the original hard drive. If you feel like doing that process, by all means do it. But I kind of just wanted that. The way it was, I didn't want to touch it. I just want to keep it, you know, I don't know. I just consider that factory fresh. So I'm going to hold on to that. If I ever need to exchange this unit, I'll throw that back in there. It's, it's pretty much has nothing on it, no configuration. So I'm happy with that. I, I like this process a lot better. Just downloading everything through the cloud. It took a while. You'll see this exact stuff. This is, this is how, you know, you're like on the right, you know, you're, you've, You've made it through the, the long queue. Now, I don't know if it's still doing it. Maybe they fixed it. It should be, it should be seamless now. Don't worry about, don't worry about that factory hard drive. Take that thing out. If that's what you, if that's the route you want to go, just take that out, leave it out. Don't listen to these busters. This, this, this is the way I wanted to do it and I stuck with it and it worked. So if this is the way you want to do it, stick with it. It should work. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly streamlined or anything, but I think it's worth it. Um, I hope I could help. Hang around for more content. I'm going to start a stream soon. Good luck with everything. Like, subscribe. Thank you, everybody.